Alright, so today we're going to teach you how to use your thumb or shout. Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Alright, all you have to do is say with great conviction and using the power of the dragon inside of you. You know, like with great emotion and conviction, put your heart into saying these next words. Fus. Ro. Da. Do you think you could do that? All you have to say is Fus. Ro. Da. I think you can handle this. Alright, try it out. Okay. Fus. Ro. Da. Fus. Da. Fus. 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 Da. Fus. Fus. Da. Fus. Fusi rosa da, fusta rosa, do with da, fusta da. Eh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe it would work better if you had a target of some sort. Like this one. Huh? Where am I? They fail. I want you to tell the story to the adventurers like you always do. You know, the one that everyone loves. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I used to be an adventurer like oh, no. you. Not this then guy again. Then I took again. an arrow in the knee. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I think that'll be good for today. I'm going to lie down for a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll check in with you later. Hey guys, welcome to my room provided by the US Navy as part of my IT professional education. And also, welcome to my eighth video game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have actually done eight, that's impressive. I should have done 20 by now! That's right, in honor of the recently made game Elder Scrolls Online, we're going to be taking out one of the games that gave the, its game such popularity, Skyrim. Doing some research on the game, we, I've also discovered that not very many people are willing to do like a 100% complete walkthrough of the game. So the fact that we're going to be taking that on is really nice because it gives us kind of a bridge away from the other ones. This also is going to be one of the hardest and longest walkthroughs I'm probably going to do. Yeah. But for some of the odd people out there that have never even heard of Skyrim, let's do a basic rundown of what's going on. You're essentially an illegal immigrant from Cyrodiil that just went into Skyrim. Unfortunately, the people that just caught you also happen to have in custody Ulfric Stormcloak, one of the leaders of the Civil War. Oh wait, Civil War. The Civil War started when basically the High Elves were taking on everyone, and everyone was losing. Really bad. Now, the Hives agreed to stop if we gave up our biggest religion of Talos. And the Empire begrudgingly agreed, and they decided not to enforce it. At all, really. In fact, really, all they did was to say, Yeah, sure! And then, kind of told the people, Alright, you're not allowed to worship Talos, but if you do so, I will not look when you do. However, the fact that they even agreed to it made Ulfric Stormcloak, the Jarl of... Jarl? Jarl? Bacarl? I'm fairly certain it's Jarl. <laughs> the Jarl of Winterhold so mad that they even agreed to such a thing that he decided to try to separate Skyrim from the rest of the Empire of Cyrodiil. Or Tamriel. Everyone called it the Empire of Tamriel. Cyrodiil is the, the capital place. And they got Skyrim, which is one of the other little places. Skyrim's trying to break away. Or Ulfric wants Skyrim to break away. The Empire then of Zero Dawn decided to send forces in there, not to, like kill everyone, but just to simply try to settle down this little revolution going on because let's be honest, it's kind of messed up. And the Stormcloaks are acting like bandits in many cases and stealing and doing whatever they want. Oh, and there's dragons! Yeah! Dragons! Where do they come from? <laughs> but the dragons are everywhere now! And these dragons are special because if you kill them, their soul's still alive, and it'll eventually come back into a full-size dragon. So, they're not really dead, ever. To make this worse, Alduin the World Eater, big dragon, black, and he has all these like, little curly spikes sticking out of his everywhere. It's, I don't know, he's a big dragon. He's running around, and he's essentially bringing dragons that are already like, dead, dead, like completely dead, back to life. This is a big issue. Not to mention the fact that Alduin has the ability to go into Sovngarde. Think of it like Valhalla. It's pretty much the same thing. And he's going into the Solomon Guard and eating people that are in Valhalla so that they're really dead. They're like, it's like they've been killed and sent to Solomon Guard and then they're killed again so that they're dead dead. I don't, I don't get it, but that's basically what's going on. So people that are dead, he's killing. However, luckily for us, you're the Dragon Maul, which you really discover on accident and you also discover that you're not the only one. There's loads of you guys running around, but, yeah, I mean, it's us, so 
or the main player character. We got it. Good. Not to mention there's a lot of other weird stuff going on. From vampires literally trying to turn the sun off, assassins and thieves coming back to power, to guys from a different dimension. It's sort of like a different dimension. It's like it's attached. To I want to call it a dimension. But it's not. You know what I mean? I don't know how to... Look, he's mind-controlling people in order to get himself back over here. There's Daedrix messing with everyone. Four Storm, which are like these barbarian heathen weirdos that don't know how to dress themselves, are coming back and trying to kill people. Not to mention there are giant frostbite spiders everywhere. Except the frostbite spiders are natural. Really, I mean, I don't know how. The smallest one is like this big and everyone's used to them. I mean, I know for a fact, if any of you have watched my, like, Eight Ways to Scare, you know I'm terrified of spiders. To no end. And I really wish now, like, a giant spider would pop up on this window. That's a wall, not a window. Just so you can see me free. Actually, I lied. I don't want you... Seriously, if I saw a spider that big, I would leave. But that's beside the point. These things get big. And everyone's used to them. This isn't really, like, a national epidemic. But it is in my book. I don't know. I would not move to a country that's like that. <laughs> Just saying. But, sorry. I went off on a tangent. So all this weird stuff's going on. And the dragons are coming back. And there's a giant civil war. So a lot of stuff's going down at once. You chose the wrong country to legally immigrant to. Go somewhere else. You know, like other places that are burning each other alive. Okay. Now since this game is so big, we're going to be focusing mainly on quests. Yes, we're going to explore all the different places. Yes, we're going to be focusing on all the skills, subquests, miscellaneous... Well, actually, I can't really be honest and say miscellaneous quests, since a lot of them are, like, infinite and repetitive, and some of them don't even make sense. But we're going to try to be getting, you know, like, the major ones. You know what I mean? We're going to be getting those ones. But overall, there are a lot of things in the game that we just kind of learn by messing around, which is one of the best parts. So we're going to be kind of all around the board, but we'll try to stay as focused as much as possible. These episodes will also be longer, kind of like the Pokemon ones. They'll be 20 minutes or so, just because of all the stuff that's going on. I mean, sure, we might shorten it in case of like, oh, hey, there's a boss battle coming up or something, but they will be long, okay? And if things get repetitive, you know, like if I'm trying to get to a certain place and it's the fifth time of dragon attacks, I will speed it up. Okay. Also keep in mind here, a lot of the things I will say or do are opinionated, and that's one of the best things about Skyrim. You don't have to be told how you're going to be doing things. You do things like you want to do them. I'm just here to give an opinion and hopefully be funny. The reason I say these things is because I know for a fact I'm going to tell you guys I don't really care for something or I don't really like something, and someone out there on the internet is going to see someone else on the internet saying, That's just the best thing ever! You should do it all the whole time! Like, and you all are going to give me weird looks, and you're going to say, how come you don't say what they say? It's all about opinions, okay? So, sorry if I don't agree with a lot of people on the internet. It's just it's all about opinions. Other than that, hopefully I can be as informative as possible, and overall we'll have a good time and take on this big challenge. So, see you then. Seriously, though. Damn frostbite spiders. Damn frostbite spiders are so freaky to have me. Ding, ding, ding. And you're just sitting there. Minding your own business in some cave and you're walking along and all of a sudden you see like this thing going yeah, 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 yeah. How am I supposed to respond to that? Lydia! Go kill the monster! I don't want him! And then Lydia just walks over she's like stomping on their heads going You are such a wimp but I am sworn to carry your burdens. And I'm standing in the back going Because there's like a spider by my boot that's like this big. I was in the going Is it really just me that thinks this? It can't just be me. I'm sure someone else out there has had the same problem.